Learn that a metal is present in an ore. So an ore contains impurity. You can clean the impurity, no big deal. But if it is in the compound form, what are you going to do? Are you going to pull the metal out? That is not possible, my dear friend. So there is a process devoted for all of this that is called as metallurgy. The study of extraction of metal is called as metallurgy. The process used for extraction of metals in their pure form from their ores is called as metallurgy. A whole business is set up on this. This is the business end of the chapter. Metallurgy includes three steps. First is removal of gang. So you have to first remove the dirt around it, all the gang, everything which is not the metal you want. So removal of gang is removal of impurities present in an ore. It can be an impurity of sand or other metal. Second is reduction. What do you understand by reduction? Reduction means removal of oxygen. So in order to remove oxygen, what we have to do is we'll reduce the metal, we'll get the metal. But if there is some sand left in the metal, will it react? No, it won't. So the third step is refining. Where you make the metal pure, you remove the mud from the metal. We learn all of this with the help of this chart. A ore. Ore can be of any metal. So it can be of a reactive metal, a non-reactive metal. So concentrated ore of a highly reactive metal. What do you do for that? What do you do for the concentrated ore of a moderately reactive metal? and concentrated ore of a less reactive metal. Now what are these metals? Concentrated ore of a highly reactive metal, every metal from potassium to aluminium. So why till aluminium? Why not till zinc or something else? These are normal metals. So when they are normal metals, they just have one shell incomplete and they can be electrolyzed. They can be separate using the term electrolysis. What is electrolysis? Electric splitting off of molten ore, molten chloride or oxide. So what we get after that is a pure metal. Concentrated ore of a moderately reactive metal right from zinc, iron, lead to copper. Alto is highly reactive. Zen, Ferrari, Firbi are all medium reactive metals. So you can find a carbonate ore or a sulphide ore. If you get a carbonate ore, is that what is the first step? Removal of dirt. That is done. That is very simple. But how will you remove carbonate? The second step is reduction. So in order to reduce something, you should have a metal oxide. So carbonate co you have to convert into oxide. So the process to do that is calcination. In fact, for sulphide, you have to roast a metal. So you have to do roasting and convert a sulphide into an oxide. So after the process, a metal oxide is formed. This metal oxide can be reduced with the help of a reducing agent like carbon or a higher reactive metal like aluminium. So impure metal will be left. That metal has to be refined and a pure metal would be found. Whereas concentrated ore will be a less reactive metal uh, like copper, mercury, silver and gold. Usually silver and gold are in the free state. So you just have to refine them. But copper and mercury would be in the sulphide form, convert it into oxide by roasting. The impure metal has to be refined and then you get the pure metal. So wait a second, a sulphide ore, if we roast it, we should get metal oxide. But over here, because it is so less reactive, the metal oxide decomposes during roasting. Decomposes, forming an impure metal and it is refined into a pure metal. All of this, all the concepts are very simple. The chart is the chart you follow. Kanaka Magal, that is Katrina, Ne Kar Mangi Alto is highly reactive. Zinc, iron and lead are moderately reactive. Remember one more metal that is manganese. And least reactive metals are all from Q, Milli, Silver, Audi. 
see you in the next module.